AKA the Ohio State Buckeyes go up against the LSU Titans. This one promises to be a real battle. Welcome everyone, we're here at the Pete Maravich Assembly Center. I'm Vern Lundquist, here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. What do you think, Bill? This game features a great matchup at the point guard position. Gross is a superb point guard. He takes pride in locking guys down defensively. He's one of the best post defenders in the nation. Number five is also right up there with the best point guards in the country. He's such an impressive scorer in the post. Once he gets it in tight, he won't be denied. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. Offense going, Vern. Now the game has started in earnest. Cox leads him in. Gross picks it up. Up and in off the glass. It's now all my luck. For three. Hold in by number 52. And it's still all tied up. Two. Dishes it to the left. Number 34 backs him down. Gross catches it. Left wing. Gross shoots it. Can't get it to fall from downtown. And it's still all nutted up. Reese from deep. Number 52 gets the board inside. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Guys, earlier today, I caught up with the head coach. I asked what he expected the key to this game to be, and he replied that with the athletes he has on his team, the key will be to stay aggressive and use those physical tools to their advantage. Sounds like he wants to wear the other guys out for him. Thank you, Tracy. Wainwright beats it to the right wing. The last play was cashed in by number five. That pass made it happen, Vern. No doubt, Bill. I thought he had a look, too, but he wisely dished it off to his teammate. Caught. It's stolen by Reese. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Caught. Inbounds the ball. Ohio State is a team that can pour it in. For them, it isn't a question of if a run is coming, but a question of when. Look at that little drop step that freed him up for the spin inside. Terrific play. Swings it to the wing. Swing pass, right wing. Number 14, no good from downtown. They're still up by one. Number 34. Essential. Has it. Right wing. Nailed from three-point range by Reese. And they're up by four. Just over 12 minutes left in the half. Gross. Lead pass inside. The last layup is dropped in by Cox. Great vision there and tremendous accuracy on that lead pass. Dumps it to the paint. Reese. No good from beyond the arc. But they're still out in front by two. Number 52. Dumps it off. Cox gets it. Right wing. Number 34. Last shot missed from three-point range. The team wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over him driving it in. Catches it on the strike. Right. 
Number five, dishes to the left wing. That last three-pointer was missed by number 14. Ohio State creates all sorts of problems with their defense. They play passing lanes well and always find a way to force tough shots. And they call goaltender. Well, give him the ball. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Plight inbounds the ball. Out left. Passes it back to the wing. A cell. Passes it to the free throw line. Battle. Reels it in. The Tigers can get back in the lead with a basket here. Battle. Left side. Beats it to the corner. Cassell gets the rebound. And it's still knotted up 10. Cassell. Number 14. Gets it. Right wing. That last triple off the mark. Mike with a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. Puts it up. No good on the three by number five. And it's still a tie game. Battle. By yourself, by yourself. Left wing. Passes to the wing. Number 52. Hands it off. Battle. Shot clock dwindling. Dumps it to the paint. Last shot made him by number 52. Getting in tight. Just a great entry fee. A sell. Gets it on the free throw line. Number 14. Blows it out. Good from three point range. And they now go up by one. LSU will take its first timeout. Roller inbounds the ball. Stolen by a cell. Oh, the quick is before they even knew what hit them. He made off with that one. Number 52 catches it out left. Hernandez did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Number five releases. The jumper was buried by Hatton. They increase their lead to four. They're going to bring the full court press for her. We'll see if they have the ball handlers to deal with it. Gets it on the strike. Roller passes to the right corner. Right wing. Millie from about 19 feet. Hits it. He's got two. Inbounds the ball. Beats it. 
to the corner. A set. Got it. A set. They're ahead, 19 to 14. LSU is really struggling. Battle. Bounces it to the right. Feeds. Baseline. Takes the shot. 19-footer was off the mark by Miller. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked. It was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault it. Team with the second effort. Second to fall as well. Evtimar inbounds the ball. A seven-point spread. Well, let's get back to the action. Evtimar backs down. Pulls the trigger. He gets hammered. And will head to the strike. Knocks down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. Wainwright inbounds the ball. Catches it. Right wing. Davenport dishes it to the strike. Connects by eight. Just over six minutes left in the half. Caught. Nice little crossover. Launches one from beyond the arc. Hit the front of the rim and bounced out. Off the mark by Millage. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Here's the spin move. Passes it to the high post. Davenport from close range. Ball net. And they're now out in front by 10. Knocked loose. And it's picked up by Ohio State. Leads him with the pass. That last shot was dunked down. Caught. Inbounds the ball. The Tigers with some abysmal stats. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Caught. Skips it to the left. Shoots it. Can't connect from long range. With nobody around, he still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. Davenport gets it right wing. From deep, pulled in by Wainwright. Flip up and in on that last layup. That's how to play this game. Establish position, grab the offensive board, and finish the play. Nicely done. Pass, top of the key. Caught. Caught. Lead pass to the inside. Peterson puts it up. Misses the three-pointer. The D got away with one there. He had space to shoot, and he usually doesn't miss those. Outright. Throws it up. The three was off target by Hatton. They still have a 14-point lead. Caught. Millage has it on the corner. That last play, no good. Millage is in a pretty cold stretch right now, Vern. 
and there's a danger that it's going to start to rub off on the rest of the team. Dish with a strike. Wainwright pulls up from the elbow, gets right rim and doesn't fall. But they're still up 5-14. Caught. Dicey pass. Last shot made in by Gordon. Devonport inbounds the ball. Good choice to deliver the bounce pass. Good point. Hatton dishes to the left side. Far side. Tosses it up. The three was drained by Reese. He's shooting 33% from downtown. Just over three minutes left in the half. Hawks. Dumps it down low. The last layup is dropped in by Dawn. Magnificent change of release point. Guys at this level just know how to get their shot away. Wainwright has it on the free throw line. Wainwright. Tremendous feed right there. So pretty. 243 left in the first half. They're set up in minimum. Lob down low. Evtima backs in. That last 15 footer dropped in. They were on a tight there, and it still didn't do any good. Hard to defend inside. Ohio State is really struggling to close down the middle. Tracy has something for us. Tracy? The Buckeyes coach just told the players on his bench we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Tracy. Reese with the shot. White pulls it in. Drops in the floor to three. They push their lead to 15. LSU is really struggling. Gets it on the perimeter. Right wing, number 34, fires, plays it from downtown. And they're now behind by 12. From 18 feet away. And by Gavin Hood. He's got nine. 129 left in the first half. With the crossover. Clark puts it up. Can't finish in the post. Number five. Beats it to the top of the key. Davenport gets it. Left wing. Number 52. Hauls it in. That's his third rebound of the contest. When a shot like that comes around, you've got to hit it. They just dared him to shoot. Skip pass, out left. Caught. Four second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. They lead 41 to 25. Raises up. It won't count it, but the buzzer beater was missed by Gross. We'll head into the break to score 41 to 25. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. We'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Davenport has been lighting it up, Vern. And he 
he's got to be the choice. He's put the offensive weight of his team squarely on his shoulders, and it hasn't been too heavy for him at all. He is a scoring machine. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Caught. Inbounds it to start the second half. Shoots. No good from three-point land. Maybe he missed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Number five, swings it to the wing, right wing. Reese snatches the offensive rebound. The last layup was dropped in by Wainwright. Nice job to convert from in close. He didn't mess around right there, just straight up. LSU is having a lot of trouble preventing second chance points. And Tracy has a report. The head coach said to his players on the bench, if you're not somebody who is. Guys, he looks like he's at his wit's end when it comes to their rebounding problem. Thanks, Tracy. Plight inbounds the ball. Dishes it to the left wing. Reese gets the three-pointer to go. 11 points, and he leads all in scoring. Evtimov. Leads him in. Gross goes up, catches the nice lead pass in strong, and hits the layup. He's shooting 40% for the game. Reese catches it. Left wing. That last shot netted for three. You have to keep your head up and eyes open at all times playing with this guy. That's right, and you never know when or where he'll find you. Dumps it down low. Denied. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Spins. Number 14. Catches it. Left side. Number 5. Beats it to the right wing. That last three ball was drained by Reese. They're dictating the tempo, and that's exactly what you want to do. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Left wing. Number 34. Evtimov gets it. Baseline. Caught. Unloads. Answers right back with his own three. He's fourth for eight for the game. Wainwright inbounds the ball. The Buckeyes have got a nice lead. Reese. Reese dishes it to the wing. Buried by Wainwright. By 24. Left side. From long range. The shot was short by Cox. Ohio State brings it up. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Number 5 dumps it off. Number 14. Dumps it down low. It's a nice move in the paint on the last shot by Wainwright. Ohio State has been moving the ball so well. Everybody on the floor is involved. The chemistry between these players is just fantastic. Roller inbounds the ball. Number 34 goes up. Hammer. And he will go to the line. He makes the first. He 
gets them both. Patton passes it up court. Davenport crosses it over. Swing pass, right wing. A cell. Gets it, high post, from 20 feet out. Snatched inside by Fernandez. Davenport bounces it to the baseline. Battle inbounds the ball. Gross catches it, left wing. Passes, right wing. Battle connects from long range. But they're still down by 23. About 10 and a half minutes left in the second half. Payne. Davenport shoots it. Comes up empty from 20 feet out. But they still lead by 23. Number 34, lead pass to the middle. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. Fernandez inbounds the ball. Just over 10 minutes left in the second half. Right wing. Dishes to the strike. A sell. Tosses it up. Puts too much on it. But they're still up by 21. Roller hands it off. Passes to the right wing. Takes it up. Corral by Fernandez. And that's his sixth rebound of the game. He attacked it with everything he had, but it still wasn't enough. Good defense, not letting him jam it home. Payne catches it, right side. Davenport gets it, left wing. That last three ball is drained by Hatton. They have been on fire from behind the arc. A fantastic ability to find the open shooter this half. Number 34 feeds it to the wing. They wasted no time right there. The opportunity was there and they seized it. The Buckeyes with a comfortable lead. Right side. Dishes it to the perimeter. Payne. Off the backboard and in. They now lead by 24. They're playing a 3-2 zone. Your big men have to be alert when they come out in this deep. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. Both teams will make some substitutions. Shot is good for a three-point play. Fernandez inbounds the ball. 
Just over eight minutes left in the second half. Davenport has it. Out left. Feeds. Cross court. Hatton pulls the trigger. DeWitt snatches it down inside. Caught. Leads him with the pass. Shoots. Snatched off the board by DeWitt. Oh boy! He had it and he pulled the string. Yes, that's a shot he very easily could have made. Gets it on the elbow. DeWitt passes it to the high post. Right wing. A cell unloads. Knocks it down from three-point land. He's two for two from deep. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Evtimov inbounds the ball. Number 34. Last shot was buried for three. At this level, you have to be able to match your opponent. Well, we've seen them trade threes. Now, can anyone force a stop? Skips it down low. And it's scooped up by Evtimov. He got to squeeze it. He didn't do a very good job of protecting the ball there. The three-point attempt missed by Millie. The D caught a break there. That's his shot. And he was wide open. Fernandez catches it in the paint. Pass. Cross court. Hatton. Catches it. Left wing. Evtimov corrals the miss inside. Passes to the top of the key. Hit the basket by Cox. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. DeWitt inbounds the ball. Just over six minutes left in the second half. Davenport. Dishes to the right side. Swing pass. Left wing. Takes a three. It's good. He's got five. Number 34. Gets it. Down low. They rule this one goaltending. Count the shot. Both teams are making substitutions. Substitution on the court. Number five beats it to the right. Yes! He's shooting 50% from downtown. Swings it to the wing. Battle. From downtown. He pulls it down inside. The Buckeyes with a comfortable lead. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the board. They've got a big edge there today. Miller dumps it off. Dish, right wing. Cuts off the pass. Right around five minutes left in the second half. Number five. When he got there inside, it looked like he was leaning when the contact occurred. Didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Evtimov, number 52, raises up. He made it look so easy, Vern. Believe me, it takes tremendous athleticism to pull that off. Catches it, right wing. Davenport dumps it to the paint. Last shot laid in by Haney. This is starting to get out of hand. Time now a big concern. 
Yes, you said it, Vern. We're almost past the point of no return for a comeback. Number 52 inbounds the ball. Dishes it to the inside to put an end to the run. Thank him for that one. Nice look by Cox. Six assists, and he leads his team in that category. A sell. Beats it. Far side. Hatton behind the arc. Count it. They're up 81 to 52. Bounce pass. Baseline. Davenport with nice D on that shot. About three and a half minutes left in the second half. DeWitt. Evtimo inbounds the ball. Top of the key. Lead pass inside. The last layup is dropped in by number 52. What a nifty move against the bigger defender. Score one for the little guys. It's like a library here, Vern. We need some excitement to get this crowd going. A sell. Swings it cross court. Throws it up. The offensive rebound pulled down by DeWitt. He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got hacked. the first both teams are going to make some substitutions he gets them both both teams will make some substitutions Evtimo inbounds the ball. Morgan puts it up, hits the tray. And they're now down by 28. 2.30 left in the game. Hatton is out of bounds there, and that will cost them possession. He forgot one of the most basic things in basketball there, his position on the floor. Passes, right wing. Kip, but it's recovered by LSU. And here's the State Farm drive of the game. This guy is fun to watch, Fern. He can really fill it up. DeWitt inbounds the ball. The Buckeyes should slow it down and use some clock. Two minutes. Fernandez. Catches it outright. Backs him down. Gross passes it to the right side. Releases. The baseline jumper made by Eskimo. He's shooting 60% for the game. The Buckeyes have got a nice lead. Gross gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach.
DeWitt inbounds the ball. Davenport uses the crossover. Beats it to the left wing. Fernandez hands it off. To end the run. Bricks it off the front arm. He can live with that miss. He was open, and he knows that he can make it more often than not. Evtema lets it go. Fernandez pulls it down. 40 seconds left in the game. Nice pass. Well, the defense should realize they got lucky on that one. He'll drill that shot nine out of ten times. Skip pass, out left. Hatton. Number 52, snatches the rebound. He did just enough to force him to alter his shot. What solid D. The tray off the mark by Eftimo. Gets it, left side. Hatton passes back to the left side. That last 15 footer, no good by Davenport. With the shot, got it off in time. But the buzzer beater was missed by Cox. That's the game. The Buckeyes blow out LSU 85 to 61. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac game-changing performance. A slam dunk that brings the crowd to its feet, always a fan favorite. The Ohio State Buckeyes had their way on the inside today, and this tremendous slam sums up their dominance. Get a load of this monster dunk. With intimidating moves to the hoop like this one, it's no wonder the score was so one-sided. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.